In tonight's Health Watch, a warning about the herbal supplement called Kratom. The FDA says millions of Americans used it to treat pain, anxiety, and opioid withdrawal. But it's blamed for addiction, seizures, and even deaths. CBS's Mark Strassman spoke with a family on a mission to spread the word about a potentially dangerous product. In this security video, Dustin Hernandez has minutes to live. He collapses, has a seizure, and dies. Toxicology testing blamed the toxic effects of metragenine, typically marketed as Kratom. Very painful to watch. Dusty Young, the victim's sister, says her brother took Kratom for his anxiety. He was in denial about it being addictive. Kratom's commonly marketed as a wellness wonder, widely sold online and in gas stations. The FDA says Kratom is addictive. It warns not to use Kratom because of the risk of serious adverse effects. Since 2014, the agency has tried to bar Kratom from being imported. Every bag of Kratom on the shelf got here by people who are fraudulently saying it's something else. Lawyer Talis Abelins represents the family of Dustin Hernandez. There's fraud going on. Absolutely. And what makes it even worse is that they're selling it like it's coffee or tea. Good news the American Kratom Association, the AKA, admits the industry has many illegitimate products. How many Kratom players are there? I guess about 8,000. And how many legitimate ones are there? Uh, I would say three dozen, maybe a few more than that. But AKA spokesman Mac Hatto blames the FDA. They simply say we're not going to regulate, we want to ban it. They should be regulating it and protecting consumers. The AKA is pushing the Kratom Consumer Protection Act, what it calls a best practices standard. Eleven states have passed a local version of the act. But critics say the issue is Kratom itself. This Kratom product is associated with seizures, coma, and death. And if that had been on the bag, a lot of lives would be saved. Dustin Hernandez was a shy guy. His family intends to be a loud voice for accountability. Mark Strassman, CBS News, Dallas.